I have become a new man. Huh? Huh? Okay, whatever. I tried with the intro, at least. <laughs> so you're probably familiar with a certain YouTuber named Ryan's World, formerly, formerly known as Ryan's Toys Review. And I'm just going to call him by his real name, Ryan Kaji, for the rest of the video. But basically, this man has not been changing. For like the past eight or nine years or so that he was making YouTube videos, he has made the same type of content. This man is like, what, 12 or 13 years old now? And this is what his content looks like now. Things are heating up, right, Akuro? I need to beef up the security so that the Red Titan comic book stops falling into the wrong hands. So I've hired a security guard to watch it 24 seven. Like, I genuinely feel bad for the guy. And I feel like the biggest reason of all of this has to do with two things. Number one, he obviously rakes in a ton of cash, so what's the point in changing the content style? I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, sure, but like, the dude is 12 years old and still making videos as if he's a five-year-old. And the parents are acting like five-year-old in the videos as well. You lied about your favorite color? Daddy, you're up. What, I'm next? Oh, I'm nervous. Kind of embarrassing. But the parents actually have to do a lot with the second reason, which is they don't want Ryan to stop making this content. Ryan is still not an adult yet, so all that money that he made from his previous YouTube videos, all the billions and billions of views, they're not his yet. And they probably will never be his because the parents are just using that and they're gonna keep it themselves basically. And obviously Ryan is still 12 years old and he obviously doesn't have this in mind yet, but what happens if he turns 15, 16, 17, 18? And when he graduates high school and what if he's in high school? The bullying he's going to receive is going to be astronomical. If Jake Lloyd got bullied for playing Anakin Skywalker, one of the most important characters in the Star Wars universe. Just imagine what's going to happen to Ryan Kaji, a dude who made YouTube videos as a four and five year old just by, you know, playing with stupid toys. He might even grow up to have a mental disorder in the future. Like, I'm genuinely worried for the guy. And I feel like he has a lot of potential with the current YouTube style that we see for most YouTubers, like the Stokes Twins, Ryan Trahan, and Mr. Beast, just to name a few people. He could very well fit in into that category, especially since he has the YouTube experience. So I don't know why his future talents are being wasted on this kid's channel that is becoming irrelevant by the day. Sure, he has a lot of merch. Sure, he has a TV show and he might even have like an AI voice or something, but is all that really worth it when we're talking about the actual person here? In my view, I don't think so. So I feel like Ryan Kaji must abandon ship during high school, man. Like 14, 15, as he's about to go into high school, like this should stop and I feel like he should focus a lot more on what could actually like work within his area because YouTube is a big platform that is able to recommend any type of content to anyone. And I feel like Ryan with his big audience that he's accumulated over the years can have like a big head start. And all this can be done if the parents realize that it's time to stop forcing our kid to do all this stuff that he doesn't really want to do. Like, the man is 12 years old, and he sounds like he's 16 years old. I didn't sound like that when I was 12 years old. This is unbelievable. Like, I've never seen this done before when it comes to a YouTube personality. But that's just my opinion. There's probably going to be some other people who are like, Oh, Ryan should be keeping going until he's 18. When in reality, that couldn't be farther from the truth, you know. In my opinion, Ryan Kaji has so much potential on the YouTube platform, and that's all being wasted on stupid, irrelevant kids' videos. Peace.